so somebody asked me why I don't just post things that I like. I don't have things that I like. The life I'm living right now is nothing but pain. All I want is for these channels to stop lying about me so that I can have a life. But as long as they're lying about me, I can't live. Nobody's ever going to see me as a person. They're only going to see these people's lies. I have no life. Zero. I wake up every day knowing that the rest of my life is just going to be harassment and pain and lies from people who want me to end my life. It's never going to get better. Not even a little bit. Because they will not allow it to. They will not allow me to live. They will not allow me to thrive. They will not allow me happiness. If I ever did anything that showed them I was becoming happier, they would have to amp up the harassment to take whatever that thing was away. Just like they take my medication away every couple of years. They try to take my therapist and my doctors away. That's all I have. They threaten to put me in a mental hospital as a punishment. When you treat the mental hospital as a jail, that's what creates people like me who never want to go there because there's no help in jail. And when the mental hospital is treated like the jail, it's exactly the same thing. It's in the mental person's head that it's a punishment. It shouldn't be a punishment. The hospital is supposed to be there to help you. But because I'm threatened so much with it, it's a punishment. They're not saying, well, we're going to take you someplace and get you re-coordinated on your medicine and then you'll go back home and you'll feel better. They're saying, you're going to get locked up and force-fed pills and they're never going to release you. And... It's not the reality of what the hospital is, but it's what they want me to believe and what they want me to feel. Which is why I never want to go there. Which is why they threaten it and they try so hard and push to have me locked up. To punish me for daring to tell the world what they're doing. But it's not illegal to cry. Thank God for me, it's not actually illegal to be the most miserable, per miserable person in the universe. So they're not going to be able to have me punished for it any further than they'd go themselves to punish me. And they go to great lengths. Getting my apartment was supposed to be a chance for me to learn how to live. <laughs> An opportunity, while I'm not worrying about where to live, to learn how to live, to learn what I like, what I can do. But all of this harassment started just a few months after I moved in. I believe it was the same month I moved in. And I've had no chance to do anything but focus on ending the harassment. I can't focus on finding furniture that I like and building a home that suits me. I don't know who I am. I don't know what I like. And I'm not allowed to find out. That's what these people have decided and done to my life. And I have nobody else. <laughs> Some people say just go offline, go hang out with a friend. I have no friends. 
no family. My own family wants me dead. My own family abuses me. And I have spoken out about that and nobody believes me because they deny it and they're not mentally ill. They are. They just won't receive treatment for it. But as long as they can claim that I'm crazy and they're not, everybody is going to believe them over me. And that leaves it open for them to do whatever they want. <laughs> While nobody is actually listening. I had so much hope when I moved in here. That is completely gone now. And these people are never going to stop. They are never going to stop lying about me and sending people after me and talking about me ever. Which means that I'm never allowed to find life to find out what I like, to find out who I am. I'm simply not allowed to be anything but this. In pain, constantly, until it kills me. That's what Adonis Paul wants, and he has 12,000 followers to make sure it happens. Bernice Morgan is only one of them. He has others that are equally as willing to hurt for him to make sure that it never gets better for me because of the lies that he has told, because of the things that they believe that never happened. It's never going to get better. It can't. If it was just a mental illness, it could get better. It would Medication and therapy would help, but it's other people. There's nothing that would help when it's other people that are the problem. 